Welcome, jewelers. Welcome all to another episode here of the Jewelers DeFi Kingdoms podcast. Episode 41 here, Dags. My name's Mega, joined by Sir Dags. Dags, how you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Um, just kind of getting guys ready for summoning. Found out my Gen Zero. Two hours left in the cooldown. Oh, ouch, uh, ouch, no, ouch. No. So, um, yeah, what can you do? I get some other stuff on there, but it's not anything fun. So, what's <laughs> up, <hear> chat? <laughs> what's good, everyone? What's good, everyone? We do have a Gen 1 10 out of 10 being given away here tonight. I actually only, I didn't even get to summon my Gen, Gen 0 pair because I just wanted to make sure it was ready for the stream. We're going to be giving that away, so um, stay tuned for that. We'll probably give it away later on towards the end of the show. A lot to cover. A lot of new stuff in DeFi Kingdoms. A lot of uh, um, so, some some issues we had within one of the uh, projects within kind of the ecosystem that, that we're diving into. We'll talk about that later um, and how they resolved it. We'll talk hey, about the I, new class. People are saying they can't hear me. Should I try uh, changing out my mic? Yeah, I, I'd try. try Whatever this. one you had that one time was at least pretty a little louder. Damn. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that sorted here in a second. Um, but we do have a bunch, a bunch of stuff we'll we'll talk about, and uh, they should be back here momentarily. In the meantime, um, do want to give a huge heartfelt shout out to Mythic Squad and Starbuck specifically. Um, we've pinned it in the chat here, the YouTube chat already, and you could find it um, on Twitter, on X, um, and, and we'll post it in the comments as well here. I don't know if it shows for the people on X um, in, the, in the Twitter chat itself, but we've pinned it on YouTube, the uh, GoFundMe and donate link as well, donate three link for Starbuck. Um, of course, unfortunately, awful news. Um, Starbuck unfortunately lost his home. Luckily enough, was able to recover his whole family from the house um, and the dogs, which which was good. But they lost, you know, most of their belongings. So if you can uh, afford to help, any bit goes a long way and is much appreciated. Um, and if you can't, of course, financially help. Um, you know, any and all love is appreciated as well, but we do have those links. I'll get the GoFundMe one here out in a second as well, and then uh, we'll get that pinned as well. Um, a whopping 17000 raised out of the $25,000 goal, which is just magnificent and um, just shows how amazing the community is. Dags, can you hear us? I hear you. Yeah. I don't know if that's any better, but... You sound you sound much better, I think. Okay, yeah, I guess each each USP USD port has a different strength, so I've got it popped in my my strongest one. So, see how it goes. I hope that sounds better. Um, let me know if you guys can hear. But um, yeah, anything you want to add to that? I just briefly went over. Um, no, I, yeah, it's it's a it's just like a really shitty series of events, and it's like it's when it rains it pours, man. It's like catch a fucking break, but. Um, it's really awesome. The community's doing everything they can to help. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, much love goes out to Starbuck for sure. And, um, man, if there's one person we know will just bounce back as strong as ever, it's going to be that dude. So, um, just sending love and, um, you know, we'll, we'll be excited to see him when he gets back and all. So, um, let's get into some DeFi Kingdoms talk here. Dags. Duels is really close. <laughs> Those are the exact words I pulled from the AMA. Really close. I believe he even went on to say like something like a day to a, a week. And that was Thursday, of course, during the AMA. And I don't know. I'm not going to hold him to a week. But it's close, dude. And we're going to have the, uh, the Jewelers website going live potentially within a week, which is super exciting. Um, how, how hyped are you for Duels? Well, I mean, right now I'm more hyped than I normally would be because we have the joust. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, traditionally with, with duels, I just sit back and I wait a little. 
and then I sweep to legendary two or three. Yeah. Um, and even though everyone's like, oh yeah, it's going to be different this season. You won't be able to do it. Like I've done it every season. It- yeah. We <laughs> always find a way to backdoor it. And it's kind of been our strategy for duels, you know, and that's one of the main reasons we, we brought into jewelers joust because we wanted, it, it's a fun little mini game, you know, put your cards to work without, um, before PVP is here truly. So, you know, we wanted to kind of, it, you know, integrate it more into the, into the system. Um, and, and again, you guys are going to see a bunch of stuff when it goes live, a bunch of guild implementation um, that we've teased here within the Discord, um, our Discord and the general Discord a few times as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But um, yeah, I mean, duels itself, the season itself, you know, I'll still backdoor my legendary, um, but I'll still compete. I think I'm, I think I'm excited mainly just to kind of snag those rewards. You know, it is kind of a thrill to climb that that tiered badge ladder or whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it and, and just snag those stones and crystals that otherwise you can't really just earn in game so yeah and um, it's I'm gonna excited. be like a complete shit storm once that hits because it's like we're gonna go live uh path to gaia has got their tournament and then mm-hmm. emerson has the pink slips one so yeah um, i mean i think it'll be i think we'll be able to like you know kind of it, it'll be a lot to, a lot to go through but you know if it's timed well and even if we have to you know speak to path to gaia ours i know is going live fairly like Fairly immediately, right after you know, duels goes live. We'll, we'll pop it almost that yeah. week end after. We'll have a week long sign up, um, and it, as long as all looks well, the first few days while we trial test it, you know, internally, yep. we'll um, most likely have that the uh, first pool play period being the week after, um, yeah. week and a half, week or week roughly after duels goes live. So, and then Emerson, of course, needs to kind of more concretely plan his pink slip duels. Um, because you know we're gonna have some commentating. Trade room's gonna have to be well, present. Well, hold up. Let's take a step back. For ours, yeah. the reason it's not as concrete is because we give you a window to complete your duels, right? So it's like if you got six teams, you gotta fight. What did you say the window was? Are you giving a twenty-four hour window or did the you open the, that up? the pool play window? As of now, is planned to be either five days to a week long. Um, so you have, you know. Because you know, get, limiting him to twenty four hours during the during the work week for some people might be difficult. You know, you might mm-hmm. slip simply slip your mind. You might not be active on DFK. You know, giving them five days at least, you should be able to process all your duels. And if you don't, um, and the other player you know shows proof that he submitted the duel to you, maybe you didn't send it back. Unfortunately, you'll just forfeit those those duels. You know, so. because ours is a league, not a yeah. tournament. So. Yeah. yeah, let me let me see if I can pull this up without um. Just since we're on the topic, I know we sent. You don't want to give the people any spoilers or anything? Yeah, I know. I know we sent Emerson something. Let's see if we have it here. If it's if a... you pull up the website, make sure you block out the address. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I don't think we sent Emerson the good one, and I'm not gonna go hunting for it now. So, All right. um, unfortunately, not boys and girls. Yeah, but no, it's it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um. And I'm sure we'll have a bunch of questions, so the frequently asked questions section will be updated um, right. once we get those the most frequently asked questions. But um, I try to be as, as concise and clear as we possibly could. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Pink Slip Duels is going to be a lot of fun. And then the Path to Gaia thing, we'll, we'll compete. We're, we're trying to take all the trophies, you know. So um, <laughs> even if, you know, let's say you won't be able to compete or I won't be able to compete, you know, someone from the jewelers will hopefully be there to rep. But I think... I'll try to make them all, hopefully, but we'll see. We'll see. Mythic Squad has another one coming up, too. Yeah. Second Void Hunt tournament coming with box in play, probably. Okay. Um, I wonder if we, it's strictly on box. I wonder if it implements both. You know, it could it could be pretty interesting, I wonder. I tried to pull some alpha from Beeb, and he just sends me, you know, completely ignoring the fact memes. But I like I like the I like the hustle from Beeb. I tried you know, to do SI, that skill or as, two. And he just sent me AI nudes of that ninja girl that he posts everywhere. Yeah. Right on. That didn't really happen. Right on. Um, Just a little sound check, boys and girls. How does does DAG sound? I just want to make sure. I don't know. You got a little quiet on me, but it could be just... I could switch into, like, Midwestern mode and just yell into my microphone. You might have to, bro. This might be the night you just kind of have to uh, scream, commentate the stream here, so... (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, look out for Crown's airdrop as well, Frisky mentioned for those eligible. I I, I don't think I'm eligible. I, I, I didn't get any of that. Was that for Maybe. winning the um for being challenger or whatever? For the most time frame, I think. I oh, know yeah. I think I remember like talking to Hope about him competing in that. 
um, like shooting for it, but mm-hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember who else. So, yeah. What do you got nope. here? No worries, no worries. We're gonna jump into some new stuff here. We're gonna jump into the seer. Um, just real quick, you know, we mentioned pink slip duels before we do the seer. Pink slip duels and jeweler's joust, of course, are near. Pink slip duels. Look out for a, you know announcement from either Frosty or Emerson or the jewelers. Um, that'll be a planned weekend, most likely, um, as well as an interview with the jewelers with Frosty Dags. That's gonna be fun. That's coming. Frosty yeah, as long as he doesn't down. get banned on X again. Yeah, we, we might get banned. I, I I don't know, dude. No, him know, not this. for not for the not for engagement farming. I'm talking about Emerson. No, I know. Uh, did an age update for Frosty. <laughs> I know, I know what you mean, bro. It, Emerson's a little unhinged, so you know. I hope he doesn't he get us banned with him. Um, we'll have to see, but we'll have to see. But um, yeah, so that's coming soon. Frosty interview coming soon, as well as those those two community updates. You know, both in partnership with the Jewelers and Jewelers Joust, of course, hosted by us. So those are both going to be a lot of fun. Um, but let's get into Seer here, Dags. I have this isn't my good Seer, but this is one I streamed. Here today and dark summoned this little big red skin which we'll talk about later the bear vizzy you know we're gonna one... get like yeah you gotta call it the big red vizzy because otherwise we're gonna get blocked for having red skin in our freaking if you keep saying big red skin. <laughs> yeah i forgot that's um yeah that's not <laughs> it's a, okay anymore it's a derogatory it? term so yes sir uh, let's <laughs> Let's cut that part and then... Cut that shit out. So we're actually going to take a crazy route here today, Dags. And this may... This may fall... This may falter right in our face. Um, this isn't the squad I did earlier, but I want to have a chance at the mad... Or the, or the, bo- the box. I want to face the bad mother cluckers. Okay. I completed the boars at the end. You know, it took forever. I, I don't know if you saw, but I had half the screen fighting box or boars i mean half yeah. the screen leveling my hero up and it took probably 40 minutes to level that thing on the side Dang. of course i was distracted slightly but no um, what not... are you giving up by moving into piercing shot that is piercing shot right so you're yeah we away, talked about it so giving away on... the bonus the crit bonus right i am i'm um, convinced here honestly bro so my mentality here okay so i still like one small stone you know especially in box i think it's just the best move this is just um Another option for me late in the game, but piercing shot, man. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I it I'm, I was easily convinced. You know, Just was talking about it. a few others were talking about it on the morning stream here, and I gave it a fair go in a few matches afterwards off stream. Mm-hmm. And it, bro, the difference between multi shot and piercing shot on the eggs is it, it's it's monumental, honestly. So I'm convinced. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it for a little bit. The thing I'm testing here is this this tree. Or this tier, um, whether whether to go flurry for the increased critical strike chance, mm-hmm. or whether to go marksmanship, but the pierce is nasty, dude. Yeah. Like I'm getting good hits on those eggs, like potentially game saving hits on those eggs. So that's the mentality there. This I noticed I did. Is this the time I messed up? No, that was off stream. <laughs> I, I went the the gnarliest build that I fucked up. So. Um, you know, I mentioned this earlier again. We're not going to go deep dive into every ability like we did last week. Most of them were pretty similar, which was good on the Jeweler stream. But, you know, Wowie and Maddie Pass, great stream. If you want to check it out for two hours and look into every each and every ability, that's the stream I'm going to direct you guys to. Here today, we're not going to. But um, this is a build I kind of like. Do you like any specific builds yet? Do you want to pull something up later? Uh, how are you feeling so far with Sears? So, uh, I had been doing, like, the level six uh, Sears. And today was like the first day that I used the level 12. Um, and it was that one that I was getting my butt handed to me trying to level up. Like I think it had like like three, like only plus four stats on the level ups. So um, it turned into a not very good seer. But I found myself like running out of mana really quickly. Even with like the oracle build versus when I felt like I was using a level six. I wasn't running out of mana very quickly. So I was wondering maybe if it's like, is it that significant in a change in the mana costs from 6 to 12? Um, but yeah, I mean, I found myself like, I think I was doing a boar hunt and like the second boar wasn't even dead and I couldn't do anything with my seer. Hmm. Like, could because you can't attack if you take oracle. So 
my mana right. burned out, and he's just sitting there throwing potions at people if I needed them. Otherwise, doing a whole lot of nothing. So, um, I guess if I'm like in a build where it's like with an archer and a warrior, I might throw on Oracle. But otherwise, I right now I kind of feel like myself. I'm kind of wanting to move away from it. Yeah, it's interesting point. I don't have enough Oracle experience yet, and maybe none of us truly do. You know, it's only a few days old, but we're all trying it out. We're all trying to get our best feel. But the thing I noted about Oracle is. Um, you know, I did run out of mana much faster. For one, I think it comes down to being, you know, manipulated by that 10% less mana po mana point cost. Um, it's not that great of an amount. You know, on this ability, for example, a 28, abil 28 mana cost ability, you know, you're only getting, what, 2.8 off. So at max, 3 if they're rounding up and it brings yeah. it to 25. And, you know, it's kind of deceiving. Um, as well as the fact that I think... I mean, you could, of course, could go. And, no, you can't, actually. A lot of these channel abilities, the ones that kind of, like, give you some space and, and kind of allow you to manage your mana a little better because you're kind of out of a turn there yep. and, and you're just channeling, you know, I think a lot of them are the damage abilities, so you're not taking them if you're going Oracle. Yeah. Um, I haven't got a great chance to run Haste. This this is a nice boost to Haste. That's the speed Oracle. boost, right? Yeah, so is yeah. Oracle just... Was that put in there just to get efficient ready and Maybe. speed? Just to get a feel for it? Yeah. Um, it very well could be. I mean, and we got to think as well. That's going to hit that, at high levels, though, when stuff's costing a lot, you know? Yeah, for sure. So high for levels, sure. maybe we'll That's a good point. That. Yeah, I mean, let's get into, we got 25, 25, 18. It'll be much more important potentially later. Yes. But, um, yeah, these, these are still the basic classes, though, Dag. So, you know... They gotta, they gotta have some sort of baseline abilities on some of these, you know, simple stuff just sure. to kind of build on. You know, you can't yeah. have, you can't give the the whole basic class tier all the, the works in, in terms of abilities because you have to, you have to build out your paladins and, and your dark knights and, and onto your sages and dragoons and such. So, um, yeah, we'll fight with this. Skiller in the chat says this is what he runs as well. Three, 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 one, three. I like the team barrier. This is a very strong heal over three turns. Um, you have to channel it, but it's very, very strong. Yep. It is only one heal build, if you see, but I do have two means of barriers. And, um, you know, this seer isn't the greatest in terms of wisdom, but that summoner sub is insane uh, on its levels. It, it actually outperformed my rare with an even stone. They were both regular, regular tier, second tier stone, so... Pretty, I, I was pretty impressed with that, to be honest. I know rares and uncommons aren't that off, but I was I was pretty impressed. Warrior, typical, what I do personally, one 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 two one. So, all right, let's jump in and then um, we'll talk some more seer while we're rolling through. Let's see, is there anything in specific I wanted to bring up? Yeah, I mean overall, any first impressions, you know, kind of just give it a rating, one to ten. Are you are you liking it? I know you don't have a ton of seers you mentioned last week, but are, are you buying more? What's the mentality? Um, I mean, I have like four of them, so I feel like that's almost kind of heavy, uh, especially when I have like six priests. Um, oh, okay. Since I, I only run like 12 hunts a day, so I'm kind of I, – I, I don't need more right now. Yeah. But uh, shit, 10 because – I feel like all of them are better than a five. Yeah. So, um. I hear you. I mean, it is, you know, you say you mentioned you only have um, six priests. It is, you know, up that kind of alley. So if you are looking for that damage dealer, you know, you'll probably have to wait till this next hero release, which most likely is going to be either the Berserker or the Pirate, it seems like, right? Yeah. That's kind of what the sentiment seems to be. Um. Well, we're all going to be saying Berserker, so naturally they'll release the pirate. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, though. We, we, we zip, they, they zoop, or whatever the hell they say. <laughs> they zag. Yeah, there it there is. There you go. We zig, they zag. <laughs> we zig, they zag. Oh, my God, bro. It's been a long day if you can't we tell. Zipper, they doctor zipper. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so, you know, I'm liking it. Honestly, I wish the damage was a little more um, powerful the damage routes you know and maybe we just haven't truly unlocked them yet 
um, their full potential. But, you know, there's a few damage abilities, and some of them are going to be more primed for PvP. I do like the vision there. Um, so, yeah, I think overall the Seer class is interesting, and I think it... <laughs> Oh my god, Mega zigged himself right there. I definitely did. Um, and at, at least Dags guided me back on the zag somehow, you. some way. You, you put you. us back on the rails there because that could have that could have been the the killer right there. That could have been the knockout <laughs> punch. You know, just ended us right there. Um, but we're still rolling. So thanks to Dags. But <laughs> hey, did you post this to DFK Discord? What's that? Did you post this to DFK Discord? I didn't something? yet. You I'll could, do it right. You're fine. Feel free to. Yes, sir. But uh, I didn't even post it to Twitter, to be honest, yet. I did. Rolling through this hunt kind of just no, mindlessly. I'm barely even paying attention to it. So let's 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 crack in on it, honestly. All right, so we got our combo <laughs> primed here. <laughs> so Seer here, you know, it's not a huge damage build. But, um, oh, that's a lot of damage. You know, the Mama Bok is right where we... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. You're going to be all we're, right. We're done for. Nah, Never you mind. Here. You'll be fine. Don't the flee. Here. Don't yeah, this flee. is going to be a fun run because oh, I think they're already probably. Was that Halo oh. 2 finish the fight? No, Halo 3 was finished the fight. Oh, boy. Wish me luck. Good luck. We got a team barrier going out, so at least that'll be good. But, you know, that was not intended. So this is going to be a poor example of what this team could do. But maybe we have a chance. Maybe this forces us to kind of play a different way and catch a dub here. All right, here's the heal. I like that. We might have to just keep burying this, these next few rounds. Kill Mama here. So we. Oh, boy. Just don't kill my warrior, please. Uh-oh. All right, all right. <laughs> now, are you ha do you have time to use one of those slow-ass heals? Oh, or are you going to have to use a potion? And... Can I get away with a barrier? It only it's only a sixty barrier. Oh. <laughs> Watches the heal. Two sixty. Oh, how the turntables over there, huh? Oh yeah, it's tabling. Huh. Where is this? Where's freaking general chat? There we go. All right, I Dude, think I we're gonna. Know how to use the we're gonna try to get lucky on the barrier. You know, Ren might not even go to the warrior, which I guess might be the best bet. Or maybe he gets to defend it. Ah, 124. It's probably GG. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It puts new dynamics into the game. And I think that's what I'm most excited for. You know, and it's by the sounds of it, it seems as if we're getting closer and closer to um, Berserker or Pirate, whatever it may be. You know, it sounds like they're, they're jumping right into the, the testing of, of that one pretty soon after. So mm -hmm. we're just going to forfeit this. Yeah, unless one. they zoop us. Yeah, they might zoop us. I hope not. Hopefully we don't get zooped. But pay attention for the zoop. You never know, truly. So, um, <laughs> I might dark summon something if I feel up for it. It might only be a, a common one, but um, depending on time-wise, we, we may get into that. But while we're on the subject, while we're playing the skin dags, we'll talk about the big red um, STD, if you will, visage. I don't know what you want to call it. Yeah. But it is the big red coin, the big red bear, you know, AVAX, for any, you know, one that wants to know the lore truly behind it. I guess Av AVAX Avalanche um, is founded by some Cornell boys, some big, some big brains, bro, some big IQs, um, you know, some Ivy League bros. And um, I believe there's some sort of, maybe not sponsorship is the right word, maybe not partnership kickback, even. right? What is it? Isn't it like a kickback every, like a certain percent of everything? It might be. It might be something along those lines. It, and, you know, don't quote us on this, but there's something in connection with Cornell. Or, yeah, yeah. Is, is it Cornell? Am I speaking right there? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't <laughs> but know what we were talking about. I'm pretty about sure this. that's the school, Cornell. But, not, but now I'm blanking. I feel like Could I'm wrong. Cambridge. But, um, what if it's Cambridge? Mm, Just kidding. Maybe. I don't know. I don't I think that's it. You know. but I don't know. What, I thought it was like, because when you said we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about Big Red. I thought you were going to say, like, um, this is kind of AVAX's move to try and get in with the the meme coin culture, right? So you have, like, you have Big Red, you have Kulo. Wasn't there one more? And, Kulo's Polygon, but yeah. Oh, um, okay. Big but Red yeah. 
Big Red is just kind of like the lore behind it is something along the lines of the founders of Avalanche are, are from Cornell. Cornell. Marvel and Cornell's big, uh, mascot is like they, they call themselves the Big Red. I'm pretty sure it's a, a red bear of sorts. But um, oh, yeah, this it. is exactly what you said. It's it's a, it's Avalanche, Avax getting into the meme coins. You know, with the meme coin rush as well. You know, they're really diving deep into it. Um, you know, they mentioned meme coin season, but I don't know how much is truly going to occur off that. Um, it might have just been like an overhyped thing. I, 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 and speaking in, as far as like, I don't know if they're truly just like you know, giving out a ton of liquidity to, to farmers, but there is some AVAX being earned, you know, it feels like mm -hmm. you have to stake a ton of meme coins in that stuff. But, um, you know, I've received a few bucks here and there for staking, not, not too much meme coins in, in there, but, um, yeah. So, you know, just a lot of collaboration across the ecosystem overall is truly what we're getting at here, which is good to see. But, um, are you excited to see the hunt raffle as well? You know, 80 days of five winners of $25 per. Yeah. I, uh, I was, I thought it was awesome when they said they were giving out 20 to $25 each. And then when they were like 80 days, I was like, Jesus, that's such a long time. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I am, I'm really excited that it, honestly, that it's just going, that it's going for so long. And then, uh, I think the honk one is live too. Yeah, and then is so the Honk is the, one live? I haven't gotten a check. Let's pull it back up real quick. The Honk one's it's, live, and then the Axolotl one. What is going on here, bro? I need to, I need to peep this. I love the activity here, though, truly, because you know if you're playing the game, you are one way or another. Um, and, and of course, not everyone's gonna win um, a raffle. Unfortunately, it's just not possible. But thirty days of thirteen thirty-seven Honk, elite number of Honk there. Um, that's yeah, beautiful. This One Oxalotl's lucky winner. animated too, so this is sweet. This opens the door for a lot, you know, right? I might just want to get like a Dags one going, so I could have my have the Dags, the wings. Oh yeah, I yeah, like it. Rainbow. I like it. Four twenty <laughs> for two winners. You know, even more crystals. So you're talking almost eighteen twenty crystal a day, thirteen thirty seven honk. You know, $125 between five people in big red STD token. I mean, come on, dude. Like, this is just beautiful stuff. Here's the winners for today. Rando Baggins, Germ Curry, Shura, Venetius, Dr. J, and a bunch of Fs won. Um, yeah, nine chances to win something this week per day for at least five days, you know, with Silly Axolotl Dow. I wonder what this is. I wonder the story behind the silly axolotl they now. Is that they team explained it. They explained that in the AMA. It's a uh, if you there's a group where if you in order to get into the DAO you have to own a silly axolotl. Oh really? Yeah. I think so, I own a pet or two of silly um, axolotl. I went. That's pretty cool. When pets first hit, that was one of the ones that people were gunning for. Okay. Um, and so there's kind of like uh the f the first uh. I mean, it feels like it was one of the first DFK subcults. <laughs> <laughs> it might just be. It might just be. Three rolls is silly, Axolotl. Um, maybe Tell ahead me of you it. don't Tell watch me. the trade room without telling me you don't watch the trade room. Come <laughs> on, <is> Skiller. <laughs> honk? What is Honk, Dags? Please tell me. No, we'll have to have a Honk guy on or girl. I mean, we have um, Rempen here all the time. Yeah. I want to hear about it though. Um, Renpen was on the AMA recently and, and talked about Honk, which was great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, really good energy. That was awesome. Yeah, that was I awesome. That. I think joined by three wolves, right? That that was the one yeah. we're speaking of. Yeah. Um, okay. So that was one I was in and out of. That's probably how I missed some of that information. That makes sense now, um, unfortunately. But yeah, so that's really cool. A lot of winnings to play here. So again, we're gonna get a backdated, awful miss there. That is just beyond tragic be honest but um we're gonna get a bunch of retro dated retro active whatever you want to call it airdrops for playing all these hunts we're also going to get rewarded potentially each and every day if you can get enough hunts done if you're lucky enough to win the raffle and so many chances man just increases your chances to go home with some sort of reward so just superb superb from the marketing partnership business end of DeFi Kingdom, super excited. Yeah, so. I mean, they keep talking about the retroactive rewards, <clears throat> but it's like I'm gonna play anyway, so it's like I don't really, <laughs> I 
I mean, whether those come out or not, like I could, I could care less. Yeah, I don't think I'm playing because of those, but I think that's just another great reason to be like, damn. Um, we, and I'll show you guys in a second what I just got. I, I'm super stoked about. It. I know you might have seen it in the Discord dags, but we're playing. We're able to earn loot each and every fight that we play, as well as the fact that we have the potential to win another raffle each and every day. You know, it's just just so much earning potential. Um, I know it's not you know directly just given to you on a, on a platter by the DFK team, but you know, they're, they are partnering, they are making moves to, um, help each and every one of the people participating in the ecosystem, um, which is great. I do like that. But, um, speaking of loot, you know, I got, and I didn't even realize it at the beginning. I have one of the craziest pieces. Do I have enough mana? I'm blinded. I hope it doesn't miss next team next turn, but, um, I have one of the craziest pieces of equipment that I looted. It's on my other account. We'll pull it up right after this fight. I didn't realize the magnitude of it initially. But um it's it's a doozy, Dags. Did you happen to see it yet in the I chat? I saw it, I won't spoil it. Or, but how about or, while you're while you're uh while we're waiting for you to get over to the other wallet, what about this uh question from Min Lee? Is the seer much better than the priest or are they totally different? Who you want to start with it? Um, yeah, I would go with like totally, totally different. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit of healing. Well, except for that big heal move right now, right? It's a little bit of healing mm -hmm. mixed with like some other stuff that just kind of can make the the fight more interesting, right? Like this one, sanctuary, um, just kind of adding a barrier each each time you use it, like if, if you're, say you're sitting in your back row and it's not getting hit, that barrier can get huge. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's like, whereas you're sitting there with a priest and you're like, okay, I can cast this barrier spell at level 15. Um, and then I have the, the, the other barrier. I can't, the single. So there's the AOE barrier and there's a single barrier. Correct. Um, I only have one of the barriers on right now. Yeah. And it just kind of feels like, uh, with the priest, I, I have some I have a lot of good priests, but I still feel like, oh man, am I gonna survive a wild charge or a body slam? Versus right. like with a seer, I'm like, send it. Right? But at the same time, you know, you're getting down to a quarter health on some of these heroes. If I have a priest, I'm like, Yeah, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. All I gotta do is let my priest go, versus the seer has a little bit of setup. So yep. um there's a lot of setup sometimes yeah. it feels like, you know. Yeah. Um you know the channel, the delay. You know, there's there's not as many abilities like versus the priest where you get that direct impact. You have to kind of play around that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And um, I haven't I used the damage build for priest or seer, so I have no input on that because yeah. I haven't put any decks into my priests, so I'm not. I don't plan on attacking with them at this time. <laughs> yeah, right on. Right there's one of the downsides, though, Dags of piercing shot you know you you don't even get the chance for at least minimal damage from one of the three i missed all of them i missed the only one so i miss out all and unfortunately here i don't have the means to kill that egg so i'm not even gonna waste the turn this is gonna be a tough one this is gonna be a tough one what's good minley who's talking yesterday i just saw you use like you were looking to use a mana potion was it kupo maybe it was kupo who like ran out of mana potions yesterday and had to really? actually craft them so are we are we getting to that point where in here here this is one thing with you don't have multi shot so you don't have the combo on your is it rapid fire I can't mm -hmm. remember what that one's called um, oh boy, and we missed again dude. I should have used the blinding potion and again this is a kind of mid level seer you know it's not one of the best so you know don't take the, take this with a grain of salt this doesn't you know indicate that seer isn't good and again I'm kind of experimenting with certain things. Um, two level, this is a level 10 archer, so, you know, not the best of the best. A strong archer at that, but um, not the best one we could use. Is that far left, is that the, the haste one or the evasion one? Um, far left includes the no damage one. Right, it's tier one. Passive, but if you're, oh, we're talking tier one is, is that just agility? I think that's the agility, yeah, increase that one. I, I... I was playing a level 12 and it put my guy's speed up at, um, I did it on, I cast it on a level, tw or no, that was a level eight archer. 
So I was doing a level level 12 knight, level 8 archer, and a level 12 seer. And so it was an increased speed by 18. And unfortunately, like with that lower level archer, I'm not at a point where I'm building agility yet. So it didn't make that much of a difference. I was hoping to leapfrog some of like the mama boar, but it just wasn't fast enough. So mm. I think at higher levels, I'm going to be more into that haste one, especially since it's way cheaper to cast than sanctuary. Um, right. But yeah, that's it's in my kit. And I think at higher levels, that evasion one's going to be useful too, especially when some of the super quick evasive classes start being released. So, you know, what would be kind of interesting just thinking out loud here for them to allow you. And I think it should cost you. I don't think it should be free. You know, after a loss, allow someone to change or be charged, you know, let's say five crystal per skill they change. You know, they can cha make changes to their codex if they lose, but mm -hmm. make them pay for it. You know, I think that'd be pretty interesting. Well, I think they're going to lock, co I think they're going to lock skill sets in. That's their, oh, yeah. that was their plan. I don't like that. But I, I don't think, think they should do that, that personally. I, I don't love that. <laughs> I mean, if they want, I, I know eventually a lot of these heroes will be burned. I know that's the case, but I don't know. I don't love that personally. <laughs> All right, we're going to change it up. We're going to go this heal. And I, SI mentions that evasion heal with the slight heal. Um, I can't, I, I could pull it up on another tab, but SI, is that a channeled heal? Is that a delayed I'm heal? I'm pulling it up right now. Thank you. I'm just, the evasion just... is given right away, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see. Oops. Oh, shit. Come on. I accidentally yeah, I'm, clicked tutorial. I'm glad that's the news, that they don't plan to lock him. SI says he doesn't think so. Okay. Good. I accidentally I clicked that. play combat demo. All right, here we go. Select abilities. Uh, future Sight. Target ally gains one plus one times uh, wizard. What's that dot S? I forgot the word for it. Um. The dot S, I don't know the exact word you're <sighs> looking for, but it's kind of like the average of the team or average of the does, whole. Yeah. I know what it, what, how it does it, but it, there's a name for it. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, delay 10, heal party member for one times spell plus one times whiz HP, stack limit one. So, yeah, future sight. So, yeah, that's the evasion one for two turns. Uh, when I start using more of my speedy guys, um, yeah, scaling score, that's what the word I was looking for. When I start using some of my speedy guys, I'm, I'm definitely going to like that. But, like, my ninjas right now, they go with a priest uh, when, I do, when I do hunts. So, because um, they, get, <laughs> they get in some tight spots, and I need, like, a massive heal. Ah, uh, the scaling score. You want to talk about you... the heal? Okay. You said you want to talk about the heal? That's what he said. He's saying you weaving it between sanctuary. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, see, that's something like I haven't even gotten to get to yet. Um, the evasion, I haven't really tried out the to just haste pay it passive either. I don't know how strong that is. I know the um, the left side passive, you know, the no damage one, gives only the seer an increase of like 15% haste. Um, you know, so haste can go a long way, and there's a lot of, a lot of manipulation you can truly play with turns. Um, and I think that's, I think that's a lot of fun. I think, I think some people will be able to master that um, and get the leg up with, with Sears. So 50 plus games. Yeah, I like that. So, so Sticks has a great experience on it. So um, I think that's valuable. Yeah, I've played like seven and six of them were with Sears. 15s are 10. super good. And I haven't even got to test any of the 15s. I have yeah. zero. I think my highest is 12 right now. Um, so... We're hoping to keep leveling them up and eventually give it give those a, a try. But um, yeah. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. This is pretty basic as far as this year build goes. This is a much better run this time around, though. We got the egg here. All depends on how this goes, though. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, <laughs> the manipulation with mana at um level fifteen and beyond. 
is insane. Have you peeped any of those abilities? I know we spoke about a few of them, and a, a few of them are a little different as well. But what's your thoughts on level fifteen and beyond? If you have them up, or if you yeah, can let me. Uh, I walked away from the combat testing. Hang on, let me You're jump good. back. I was going over to the portal. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Where you always end up. All right, perfect crit on that baby, bo uh, baby Bach. We're looking good this run. Um, channels going to the egg. 97 right. isn't bad. Should be 15s. able to kill it. Hoping. Okay, so we got divination. The next skill, yeah. So that one's crazy. The next skill, target ally cost, that's 80% less MP. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Did they... Did they change that? I thought... That you, didn't they used to say like the next two skills? Oh no! Yeah, so the I next don't know. Two skills cost forty percent less MP. That's clairvoyance. And okay. then target gains pierce damage for two turns. Yeah, that thing's insane. Right. Um, <laughs> and then there's barrier stone. Uh, Ooh, target look at that! Numbers. Look at that! Look You're not gonna what? be able to check it, but my seer went before that archer, and it was back here. It planned to go after Mama Bach jumped ahead with the leapfrog channel initiate initiative of only 800 and was able to get the heal off before my warrior of like only 50 health got to got to go and then before the mama got to go so the heal ended up surpassing mama not even that it mattered because we're going to get the kill here but that was a pretty sweet play you know just kind of showing the dynamics of this seer all right so anyway back to barrier stone channel 1000 initiative Target party member gains barrier equal to X percent of target's max HP. Hmm. So that's three, where the percent is three times your, uh, the wisdom, shoot, what's the word? Wisdom.s. <laughs> the scaling wisdom. Scaling wisdom. Scaling. There we go. Uh, and then delay 20, all barriers currently applied to the target double in HP value. Yeah, it's that one's crazy. These Yeah, these are all insane. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts stuff. Ooh, this one's fun, Dag. We got a bard, bard subclass on this one. We'll burn it here. Do you have anything fun? Were you looking? Were you hunting for anything to burn? Or are you hunting anything uh, I mean, I have just regular summons. I'll fire those off real quick. Yeah, you they're can fire already, them off. They're already cooled can... off, so... Perfect. I'll just jump over to the... Oh, we continue if... talking Seer and, and all that good stuff. Um, we'll eventually get to the Hercules. We'll put Hercules on the hot seat here. Dags, I think they deserve it, but I also think they deserve a little praise. Yeah. Um... You know, we could just jump that into that now since I prompted it here if you want. We, we could always refer back to Sears once we start throwing them in the pit. But sure. Have you seen the training ground for Serendale? I don't think I've ever been here. It is in Ser I thought it was only in Crystalville. This is in Serendale. Wow. Click yeah. it. I mean, you don't have to play it, but is it the same thing? Okay, yeah. The combat demo is allow allows you to play without having to stake that jewel. Yeah. That's cool. Well, and then have you seen, too, in the tavern, the, the guild... The Hunter's Guild guy? Oh, no. Wow. Let He's us hunt, tank. dude. Let us hunt. I still love how they have just random heroes popping up around mm -hmm. here. And do you remember, like, the original market where you would have heroes or people just walking by and stuff? That was fun. Yeah. Uh, it looked crappy. I, th I think this design is way cleaner, but, <laughs> yeah. But it was cool having people talk walk. All right, Portal. And then we'll talk, uh, then we'll talk, uh, what's it called? We'll talk some we'll talk Hercules, Hercules after. This is hold just up. a Gen also, Zero summon? Hold up, hold up one second. Okay. Uh, public service announcement. I hate this lady. <laughs> Ambu? What did she do to you? What Look did she do to you? I just, I don't know. And she talks to you like you're a piece of shit. Otherwise, be gone. I have more important things to do. Oh, wow. She's aggressive. I hate her. Anyway, moving, <laughs> moving back to my to, to the main net. Okay, let's see what we got. I don't remember what these are. You just got a bunch loaded up and ready to go. Let's see if they're good. I like it. So that seer I was looking for a pair for. Yeah. We checked the seer's shapeshifter. 
Yeah. Um, the only one is 3K, so I probably won't buy that. <laughs> okay. Kind of disgusting. All right, we got a thief, pirate, dex boost, mining, and leadership. Does it have any summons? Four. Okay, yeah, we'll probably pair that with something. Of course, it's me, so the goal is always Giant Slayer. Right on. I got called the Giant Slayer guy yesterday. You're the, the double giant. giant you're guy, the bro? double giant slayer guy. <laughs> it's All right, a good I title. One of these will be the Gen oh. Zero summon. No, that still no. has an hour. Oh, bad, bad. I forgot an you said that. Cool My bad. Yeah, there's Sticks intern said handsome Jack was NPC was unintentionally pushed. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What do you got? Rare? What, do you got? what do you got? Oh man, how about in the recessive? Nothing. Well, so that one's gonna go to my uh, what's it called wallet? <laughs> to my PJ uh, PJ wallet. Yep. Nice. Send them there. Are these like all gonna be freaking pirates and thieves? I think so. Oh, I was looking at burning my uh, my Mythic Seer yesterday. Or no, not my Mythic Seer. My Mythic... I have a Mythic Warrior with Days and Giant Slayer. My goodness, bro. And what I was thinking about you? burning him with the double Giant Slayer Ninja to try and get the legendary one. Jesus, bro. I, I almost bro. pulled the trigger. Like, they were what? sitting there in the pit, and then I pulled back. <laughs> Oh my god. I goodness. posted it. I posted it in the summoning channel on dis on Discord. You're a madman, brother. You are a madman. Alright. I'm not impressed by any of these so far. Not looking great. Oh well, at least that toxic one I could turn it around for some last stand attempts. But everything over here is gonna burn at some point. Last one. Let's see what we got. Let's see the money. Thief. Come on. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so yeah, damn. we'll send all those back for Giant Slayer attempts. Real boring. Let's see. What's the count on my zeros? Yeah, an hour. Okay. I'm gonna stop sharing. Oh, I just realized you can't look up levels. On what? I'm hunting hero roster and it doesn't tell you by level. I mean, I could see the level, but. Oh boy, we're gonna be. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Unfortunately. You might have to manually filter it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. Show us that axe. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, go, let's go check it out. We teased it earlier. Finally got an axe and it happens to be potentially the best in the game. <laughs> Um, no, I don't know about that. There's a few rolls it didn't hit perfect on, but a 10% critical hit chance, Dags. The floor is five, and I'd, I'd hope, you know, for my case, the, the maximum, the ceiling there is 10%. And 2% um, down on the decreased physical and, mm -hmm. and magical defense, it's usually 20%. So Yeah, I, I, I saw good. that. The lowest I saw was 17, so, you know, I didn't get the best of the best on that roll. And then the best I saw was 26% lifesteal on crit. So I got, I think, the floor on the lifesteal. I got above average on the decrease in magical and physical damage. Um, and I got the ceiling on the critical hit chance, which which is just insane. Fire, agreed, Tad. Um, to buy, and again, this is kind of like, there's only a few on there. The highest is a is a nine percenter critical hit chance. Um, you see, oh, actually a twenty eight percent life steal. So maybe this goes up to thirty percent max, um, and maybe the decrease goes as low as fifteen percent on the best roll. Damn, there's a forty percent life steal one. Says Tad, holy. So again, there is a like there's great, there's good, there's great, there's above average, and then there's just straight elite rolls on some of these weapons, which, you know, I kind of like it. Do you kind of like how that's formatting, how there's yeah. variability there? Yeah, it's real, like, uh, Borderlands style, um, yeah. and I always loved that. Like, 
you might be picking up the same weapon as everybody else, but it's not. And I think that's, um, I, I really like that a lot because, um, <laughs> even when we start getting to like these mythic items, right? Some of them are going to be a little more mythic than others. Some are going to be more mythic than others. And that creates that, um, that gap, you know, the floors, you know, you kind of mm -hmm. finds pockets within the floors and yeah. creates a lot of fun. So we're looking for four, four, what, four, four, five, four. I'm just mentally talking about that so I can know what I'm looking for here on some commons. Um, but yeah, I mean, shoot, <laughs> we only have a few items. It's building each and every update, but we got, I mean, the, the roadmap ahead, the, the roads that are being paved right now it, it's 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 exciting dags yeah yeah and then that's not even our, our, it's, it's, i assume crafting is going to have the same mechanics right so that'll open a whole nother can of worms right like you're crafting a sword but you're not crafting the same one every time mm -hmm. so that'll add some some excitement to um i feel like when you're a crafter like that usually the when you make the sale that's the exciting part well this will keep the creation and the sale exciting um and i wonder when we start crafting and you make a sword are you are you going to have a chance to craft a mythic one instead of a rare one or you know and how, um, how hefty is the is the cost going to be of that you know right. well I'm, that's what i'm saying i'm wondering are the recipes the mythic part or do you have a shot like summoning, right? You have a shot at a mm -hmm. mythic hero, two percent shot. Are you gonna have a two percent shot at a mythic item when you right. craft it? That would be cool. And there's gonna be those insane items, you know. Even if you can get your hands on a few of them, mm -hmm. um, we're we're in shock and awe over the um, forty percent life steal axe, or you know, even the ten percent crit one. That's pretty damn good. But you know, there's gonna be crafters. There's gonna be people, you know. Um, like Koopo here in the chat who loves crafting and has tons of speculations for it, he says. Um, he's going to have some of the best of the best crafters. There's going to be people that create, you know, absolute monster heroes, like yeah. some of the Mythic Squad boys or, um, you know, even some of the jewelers have some cool stuff building with crafters. Um, with those, you know, pure enchanting and such, you know, matching yeah. elements and all. And they're going to be able to create some of the best of the best loot. And those new wallets, those big whale wallets, are going to come in, and those are the items they're going to be they're going to be you know buying. So all this work you're putting in finding these best heroes right now for the low, for the cheap, yep. Um, this could very well could pay off great for crafters, for hunters, for almost everyone. It seems like there's an avenue to see success, you know, yep. down the road, which is which is exciting. I think um, I found a pair there while I was talking. It looks good. It's got double advance. I know we're not going to get those traits right away. But um, let's take a look here. It's, it's uncommon. Level 10. I'm not going to level this one up. And we get another chance at a mutation as well. So chance for triple. Chance for toxic. Chance for leadership. And a chance for this one to mutate. So let's have some fun with it. Griffin wings as well. I love the gold yeah. wings there too. Give me yeah, those wings, sweet. please. I'll be happy. I haven't been summoning a lot lately. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but my questing wallets have been taking a ton of jewel lately. Yeah, it's been expensive. Um, it feels like. So, it's like, like I sent twenty, I sent twenty crystal to to all of them, and right now they're like sitting at. Um, let's see. So I got one of them. I sent them all twenty crystal on Friday, and one of them's down to tw or not twenty, not crystal jewel. One of them is down to 12 jewel, 17 jewel, 15 jewel, 18 jewel, 14 jewel, and then 20 jewel. Like, one of them still has 20. But it's like, I don't have, I have, I have Gwei set at 10. Gwei, Gwei, whatever, however you want to say it. Tomato, tomato. I usually type it, yeah. But, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know why I'm burning through this stuff, so... Yeah, I'm unsure, oh. honestly. I mean, I don't pay attention to it enough to know exactly why, but I know it's a little expensive. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm kind of um, just thinking about shutting most of them off. <laughs> <laughs> the heroes themselves and just selling them? No, just shutting them off for a while. Oh, shutting your bots off. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. 
I got you, I got you. The guild wallet's sitting there, sitting pretty, though. Yeah, it's been running. I had to throw more at um, my one wallet today. Um, guild wallet, we just spotted the guild wallet um, for the first time, so that's just running, automated. Dags, yeah. you just sent a bunch of heroes. I have to send my, you know, batch of heroes, and just we'll keep stacking that, so... Um, long overdue, but I think it's a good, appropriate time for us to do that. Um, this is the summon, Dags. It looks good. It looks spicy. So we got Bard subclass chance. That's what we're ultimately going for, that advanced, okay. you know, kind of magic, wis wisdom, intelli intelligence, um, strength there uh, on the level ups. Love to see a little triple advance come through here with days, toxic, and leadership. That'd be damn sweet. And then, um, damn, about, shoot, 90, 97, 96 percent chance that we get what we want here. At least a Codex hero, um, and even some Shapeshifter in there. So all in all, pretty good chance that it's a successful summon. And I want those Griffin wings, please. Make it happen. Dude, I'm like Jones and to burn one of these giant Slayer guys with it. Oh, if you, I mean, if shoot, bro. The people want to see it, Dag. So if it if it lines up, if the stars align, brother. Let's throw that thing in the pit. Let's make it happen. I burnt a lot of jewel today. Just bullshitting on stream. It was fun. Do I have any ninjas who already have Giant Slayer is the question. <laughs> I remember Tuana said one of the most expensive things is trying to have fun in DFK while you're streaming. Because you will buy the floors, you will buy them up, you will burn them. Um, Beeb knows, man. SI knows, I know, I know you know as well, Dags. Do I not have a ninja with Giant Slayer? I have the double deck. Kupo oh, Crafting? Man. Kupo Crafting and Coffee? Oh my god, I, I know that needs to happen soon. I'm loving, um, <laughs> and we'll talk about that in a second. I'm, I'm loving, you know, Coffee with Kupo featuring Sergeant and Kupo himself. Dags, how was the stream? How, how was it with Sarge and the boys? Um, it was good. Koopa said some things that made me like impulse buy fifty rare archers, um, <laughs> and then whatever he said also made Sticks intern like sweep the floor, and so he's sweeping the rare floor. So he's sitting there buying. Well, you got the bard, nice dude. He's sitting there buying heroes, and I'm trying to buy the same heroes, and it's like. You know, <laughs> transactions are failing, and I'm like, and I'm just like, some asshole is in here, and then on stream he goes, oh yeah, I just swept the rare floor, and I was like, you, <laughs> it was you, um, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna take those archers, I'm gonna get them to level ten, and then I'm just gonna put them up, I'm just gonna sell them, I think. I like it. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was that made that made me laugh when I heard you guys were both experiencing the failed transactions the whole time, and yeah. little little did you guys know it was just each other hunting each other's um yeah you know scraps and spoils or whatever. And then I bought a Gorax and a, I swept the uh, three star combat pet floor as well. Nice, during nice that, during that time. So not bad, not bad. He burned them all. <laughs> nice <laughs> sticks and turn burned all of them that he bought last night. I love it. I love it. I didn't see the rest of this hero. What do we got going on? Nothing too crazy. I'd love the bard hit. You know, that'll help its levels. I'll probably end up keeping it just to see how it performs, but it'll be kind of below average indication of what Seer can do. Mm -hmm. You know, about 20 wisdom to start. 19 is good with the stone. Gardening is what it is. Um, I mean, and then luck we got... might be nice because those delay heals, those can still crit. Yeah, yeah, so... true, true. I mean, then we got one advanced on leadership, so that's a good one we'd want if if we were going uh trying to pick and choose. So, um, all in all, not bad. It'll be a good indication of the floor, um, and we'll see how that levels with that bard. The summoner again, the summoner subclass outclassed my um my rare sub, my rare summon. So that was interesting to see. We'll see how this levels. But uh, you got anything ready? How how's the hunt looking over there? Uh, I just, yeah, I just have no cash, so... I'm no worries. Chill. I have a Gen 0 giveaway. Um, hopefully a Gen 1 5 out of 5 for someone. We will see. Um, which wallet is it? Oh, it is my regular wallet. I just need to go Serendale. Do, do, do. I'll put a lesser stone on it. Um, unless the winner... 
lets me know that they want something different because we'll announce it before I pop it in. Everyone that's in here, please, real quick, you know, I want it to be everyone that's, you know, stuck around. So please, in the chat, you know, just say anything after what Sticks intern is saying here. Um, anything under Kupo's Jeebers, actually, will count for the giveaway. Um, Make it say Say something. jewelers, say. There you go. Say Dags, say jewelers. Rugs, the we'll community. go with jewelers. Hey, say whatever. Warm, I mean, Worm Runs, Worm Runs giveaways through StreamYard. Do you know yeah, I have to that? hit him up about that. I forgot about that. He he has a cool feature that you can kind of like hashtag it or. We're going to standardize out. this. We're going to standardize, standardize this. You got to say jewelers, okay? Got to say jewelers. There we go. Even if you add in 420 like J Dub does here, it counts. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And again, I'll put a lesser. What do I got over here? You will get nothing. Looks like you get no stone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let me go back and send something over. I You'll get some lesser stone, stone unless you tell me you want otherwise. Um, it's level 15 and level 13, so it is plus 5 tier boost. But I will provide no more than a lesser. Let's see. Look at this shit. Oh, I gotta buy one, brothers. Jesus. I thought I had one. Give me one sec. What am I looking at? Hold up. Nothing. Skiller just saying Mythic Squad is, uh, saying Mythic Squad is greater than Jewelers. Oh my goodness. What is this slander? Oh. Uh, these lies. Clever. He's clever. These lies. Damn it. Alright, let's grab this. I spent all the jewel on this account that I can't even buy it. I gotta transfer it from this fucking account. Alright, I know I have a stone. Yeah, we'll do potential for shapeshifter. Insight isn't that great, to be honest. Let me just go buy one. I'll buy a vigor. Right. I like vigor. I think those are versatile. Um, and again, if you want even a different lesser stone, you can provide it. But if you don't answer different, I will provide a lesser Vigor Stone on this Gen Zero Summit. Um, and I haven't got to put the wheel together, so give me a second. <clears throat> Alright, let's get crack. Stone's bought. Let me just send it after that. Alright. Most of these people are here, but we'll, we'll restart. J-Dub is here. Koopo. Ren, Chris, Smith, Worm, Shoes, Jeremy, Digital, Dewey, Jeremy, Digi, AA, Free, SI, Mm -mm -mm. Skiller's already in there. Tune fed wag me choso. J Dub is in there, Minley. You still hear me, Dags? Am I? St are we still live, brother? Yeah, I hear you. I'm just looking for something. Um, you really want to burn some, sure. don't you? Yeah. Um. Beav is like a comment above the the threshold, so he's gonna make it in, and then that's everyone. Last call, but well, go on. What I were you mean, gonna say? While while you're doing that, I mean, Skiller he went and said like, uh, you know, he's saying that Mythic Squad is greater greater than Jewelers, but then like, he totally like even goes and like behind his guild's back and makes like awesome graphics for us, like this one. <laughs> he took he took the Mythic Squad Ninja and gave her a Jewelers and a Dags and. And look at look at how intricate that is. The way he he worked he Daddy even, Dags on that tattoo into like he even put it, took her to the tattoo parlor. It yeah, looks like got like, something real nice. Yeah. So damn. I mean, he says and he put his name in there. Didn't even do his fancy text. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> that definitely wasn't you. No, I can't do art. <laughs> So. That's great, Skiller. I, f I forgot he was kind of working on the side. Yeah, he made uh, it the, yeah. like he he made it the Jewelers the Burgundy. Agenda. Like, just awesome. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, thank thanks again for that work, Skiller. Um, we appreciate that. 
All right, looks like everyone's on. No newcomers. Um, we didn't even yeah. have to pay him for that graphic. He just did it out of the kindness of his heart. Yeah, just the kindness of his, his mythic jeweler heart. Yeah, he handed it to me. He said, jeweler vibes, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. I love it. I love it. Good. Shuffler up, skillception, jewelception, all the works. <laughs> Kupo had a hero named Bong today. Did you see that? <laughs> or he bought a hero in honor of this a holiday, actually, I should say. If he would have hit it today, it would have been a little uh, a little suspect. I think the would have been manipulated by the devs. Oh, my God. Is it Beave? Is it Choso? Is it Beave? Is it Choso? It's Choso landing the Gen Zero summon. Choso, let us know you're here, and give us give us a uh, a go ahead if you want to add a different stone, or if you would like to roll with the lesser vigor. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Not that one. Cool with whatever. Let's go. Let me send this back. That's me. I really got to. I'm so busy it. reading chat. I didn't even say congrats, dude. <laughs> he's congrats. cool with whatever. Yeah, he's cool with whatever. He's All right. Me. We're gonna send it through. We're gonna send it through. Yeah, the wheels weighted. I usually put beeves. Uh, score with a weight of 0 0.003. I think that nerfs him just enough. Um, so, Beef, unfortunately, you're against the odds there, brother. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was it? Isn't Mosh supposed to be here trolling you? Isn't Huff supposed to be in here trolling you? I wasn't going to say anything. But I I thought they were gonna come hunting, come head hunting, but apparently they sent their minions, sticks in turn and beef tonight. But they're always here good. anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and exactly. So <laughs> I mean, Skiller hasn't really made fun of us too much. Usually, usually he's pretty uh, pretty brutal. <laughs> <laughs> pretty brutal for we'll sure. We'll give him time. We'll give him time. Yeah, I'll warm up. All right, let's jump in here. Choso, send me your address if you can. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, Beef. Send me your address if you can, and I will send... Am I in... Where the hell am I right now? I don't know. I'm in Crystal Vale, aren't I? Yep. Let's go back to Serendale. Send me that address, Choso. I'll try to send that just right after I summon it, if that's all right. Dude, pigeons were brought to America by the French as a source of food, so I don't know really? what you're talking about. Um interesting so also i don't know um i don't know if you guys saw any of my tweets today but the dag's pigeon is clearly a raptor a bird of prey so yeah that was an interesting bit of alpha i wasn't prepared for today to be honest but the, the, the parasitic cuckoo reference yeah i wasn't ready for it but <laughs> i um i absorbed it all in all Pigeons. <laughs> oh my goodness. What have we started here? Just wait till PvP is here, Dags. I'm not even... It doesn't matter. You'll have some sort of leg up. At least you'll understand the game. You'll have some heroes. When Giant Slayer comes out, you'll have you'll have some <laughs> fun, bro. You'll have some, some glory days, I'm sure. Alright, we got the tears. Let's pop back over there. Alright. Here are the two heroes. I want to get that other one level 15 already. I don't think I've been summoning or questing it though. Are you able to use your Gen Zero in combat, or is it just too bad? Oh, I have a level 15 seer, bro! Holy shit, I forgot about this. <laughs> no. Oh my no, god, didn't. it's it's. No, in, you didn't. I I look, he did. I look, he <laughs> did, bro. It's in Serendale. Oh my god. Uh, this I was thinking like what is he talking about? I mean I guess the berserker slaps a little bit. I got the axe, but don't hype me up that much, Dags. And then I'm like, oh wait, it's a seer. Well, what are its stats? Are they good? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. They're not even. Are they P? These ones aren't PJ. Am I really crying right now? Or is it just not showing there? They're not PJ. Wow, I'm hmm. crying. It's all right. We'll live. Um, but 
Yeah, not bad actually. I mean, you it's level get that 15, berserker though. up to 15, man. Yeah, I know. I need to quest them. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try the level 15 abilities with this. I forgot this was here. I I do have to send it back to Crystal Vale though, which which is frustrating. Damn it! I have to bridge the damn stone. Yes, sir. Oh, that's right. Sent... Seer and Berserker were after PJ, so they can't have the badge. Oh, those were after. Okay. Oh, duh. Worm they're they're straight. Seers and Berserkers. Sticks and turns setting us straight. What's wrong with me? All right, bridge these. Maximum. Post PJ, yes. I'm an idiot. I get it. I get it. All right, all right, all right. Very fun stuff. Very fun stuff. Choso, I hope the anticipation is worth it. I hope for Mythic Vibe, Shapeshifter. Has a chance at three mutations in advance. This is a good one. Have this you gotten one. any of the three mutation ones yet? I think I've gotten two at max. I don't think I have a three. All right, perfect. Bridge should take about... Hopefully a minute max. Let's head back. That was one of the things that I brought up yesterday, like speaking of the three trait matches. When the new realm comes out and you can reroll your heroes. Um, I I wasn't sure if like the genes reroll and then I think Sarge, maybe it was Franz, was like, oh no, they don't change. So like my Gen Zero's match on subclass and then three of the abilities, I could... I could, for like the new, if they go to a new realm, I could risk losing the subclass match yeah. if I wanted to. So. We don't need no stinking badges. Damn, Skippy. All right, here we go. We got plus two tier boost on strength, plus three tier boost on wisdom. 2% on that. It's pretty solid. 60 is the cost in Jade. That's pretty damn cheap. And Archdruid Angrenum is going to hook us up here with the goods. It's going to yeah, hook us up. we talked about that, where you could just reroll cosmetics, but the rewards weren't as good as rerolling everything. Hmm. Right on. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's still 420. There is still daylight, Mr. Beave. All right, let's see. Do we have we'll, we'll we'll talk Hercules while we close out here, Dags. Right. Hercules, you're on the hot seat. Huh. Yeah, so I don't know what happened to their data. Um but a lot of us were put in the wrong stages and some guys like Jada weren't put in any stages at all. Mm -hmm. So I was put in stage three. I was supposed to be in stage two. He was supposed to be in stage one because he contributed significantly more than I did. Um, and he did it right with like the locking and stuff like that. Let's mm -hmm. see what you got. Seer. Seer for you, Choso. Good tier boost. Let's see what you get. All right, common. We'll be a 10 out of 10, though, of course. Gen 1. And they Fear did Warrior. They did like try to make it right. Um, I can't remember the specific details, but they like approached him and told him that he would, he could get, still get it over the counter from them at the locked price. And then they gave him like a, a threshold was what I thought I saw in, in Discord. So they did try to make it right. And like with me, um, you know, I stayed up till like, I think I stayed up till like one thirty in the morning just making sure that the devs were fixing my issue uh, without being annoying as hell. Um, and it was stupid. Like I was being a pain in the ass. I only bought like 2.5 metas, 2.6 metas worth of it. So, I mean, it wasn't even a significant amount. Um, but it's just like if you say you're going to do something a certain way, do it right or fix it in a way where you at least um, at least you admit that you were wrong, right? Yeah. Um, and they just kept saying to <laughs> they just kept saying to Jada, oh, you'll be in the next stage, you'll be in the next stage, you'll be in the next stage. And then there were no more stages. And so they couldn't say that anymore to him. Um and, and, like, I thought I was supposed to be in stage one, and they were trying to, like, it just felt like they were, like, trying to, either they were trying to screw people over, or they didn't know how to read transactions. Because J-Dub and I pulled my transaction data and sent it to them, and they're like, well, we need a screenshot. 
Yeah, and I I'm felt like, like that was strange. That was really weird. I'm like, no, you should be able to just read transaction data better than looking at a screenshot that we can Photoshop. Right. Um. But yeah, I think I have like an allocation for stage three where I could have bought like 44 metas worth of it, and I'm just like, if I have that much, I'm just going to buy heroes. Honestly, lately, all my money has been going into heroes. Um. Because I just kind of feel like if if this game takes off or when this game takes off, whatever you want to say, the hardest thing to do is going to be to get good heroes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, you'll eventually make a buddy who can craft anything for you. But it's like, can you get those heroes? And what are they gonna? What are they gonna? What's it gonna cost to make those? If Jewel is, even if Jewel hits like three bucks. Right on, dude. It's gonna get only more and more difficult. You know, everything else will follow. Right. And, and that hero of inflation problem, Dags, that we speak of so often, you know, that's a problem with the player base, the amount of players we have now. That player base 4Xs, if the player base 10Xs, 100Xs maybe, um, you know, that's no longer a problem, and we're on the other side of the fence. You know, we don't have enough yeah. hero. Yeah, but I also think it would kind of stink if we have these heroes who are worth, like, 50 cents, and they absolutely suck. And now yeah. they're worth like twenty dollars. That's even weird to me too, because like, I like I'm locked into like the old way. Like I understand its value at this point, so I have trouble. Like, <laughs> you know, if a new value came around where it's it's twenty dollars for a floor hero, I'm just gonna be like, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. And all it does is all it would do was perpetuate like shitty summoning tactics again. Yeah. I guess so, so. So it's like, even if we fix the hero inflation problem, if we reach a point where shit heroes are worth 20 bucks, everyone's just going to start summoning and we're going to run into the same problem again. Or maybe we won't. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's interesting to think about, but um, only time will tell. Um, but a few things back to Hercules, you know. Yeah. Um, you mentioned, you know, you, you, you expected them to have a better planned... Um, or, or not planned, but a better implementation, just overall drop. It was a it was sure. a poor release on most ends. I think sure. we can all agree. For for most. You know, maybe some so, got in smooth, but not many. It could have been much worse. Yeah, it could you have know, been much worse. Um, like, I thought it was weird that you... Like, every time I've purchased a release of a token, like, you've been able to go in and approve the token ahead of time. Um, there was like no approval process for this. Like, I don't know. Um, and that just kind of felt weird to me. Um, and then maybe that is just... simply because there's two steps. You have to yeah. claim it. We'll have to claim it in like a day or uh, two. Okay. Yeah, I think so... that's the reason there, but I'm okay. not saying that's the right or wrong approach. Okay. That just, makes I'm more sense saying. to me. Um, and like, it's not like we went in and we weren't able to purchase. If yours was done properly, it was fully functioning. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um, you got it, it at the smooth. price. You, you got it at the fair price. Correct white list. It was smooth, right? Yeah. Once you got your yeah. Once you got your correct spot, it was it was smooth. Um, and you know, like I did my fair share of bitching about it, right? Because uh, Brown Gent had like that that Metis airdrop. I can't remember what that was for. Um, the test net stuff, and then mm -hmm. we had this, and I'm like, uh, I just reached out to Ball, and I'm like, I'm just like, dude. Uh, DFK's releases have been smooth since, like, Crystal Vale. And you just partnered with two people who haven't had smooth releases. Um, take what you want from that. But, like, I was just, like, I was, like, careful. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, like, well, you know, they'll, they won't, he's, like, he, he's, like, Hercules isn't exclusive, is not exclusive to Metis. Um, we're just having a partnership with them as a DAX, which you already see is working. Um, yeah. And so... I mean, he kind of. I don't. It's, at least the team is playing it like they're not. They're not really concerned, or the or uh, Metis and, and Hercules will have such a small role that it just won't matter, which is which is fine. Uh, the I mean, and and I don't know. Everything I tried to do on Metis worked for me, and mm -hmm. then everything I tried to do on Hercules worked for me. Right. Um, it's just their communication was pretty awful too, right? Yeah. Like when we tried to get into those alpha pools and those Genesis pools, we didn't even do it right and we didn't even know. It's yeah. Like J Dub and Sticks intern wouldn't have told us that we were doing it wrong. We would have just been sitting there like idiots. 
<laughs> so yeah, I mean, we also did minimal research. I will say, <laughs> like, not nah, me, we, dude. I was on their did, freaking. I don't know. Maybe I was trying did. to. I read. I tried to read all their medium articles and just couldn't comprehend a lot of it. Uh, I was on their Z. I was in the Hercules Z League group and stuff mm. like that. I did everything but join the Telegram. Um, and I just, just not having the experience, it was just hard for a lot of it to comprehend. It was like reading a Dungeons and Dragons player handbook without playing the game. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, uh, they did delay it. You know, they delayed the sale. Um, and all in all, they did try to make amends for whatever, you know, whatever went wrong. Like we heard with the worst of the worst being, it sounded like J-Dub's situation. He did get, um, you know, at least somewhat... Um, s somewhat returned on, on what he was supposed to get, which was good, I guess. Um, but it, it took some time, and it was an aggravating process for him for that day, yeah. which was frustrating. But yeah, all in all, I don't think this reflects Metis. Um, the swap works fine. Everything else works fine, um, other than you know just that simple wallet allocation. It was weird overall, just how they seemed um, to not understand or not really be able to read, you know. The Metis Explorer when we sent them that because they asked screenshots from me too. I think that's a little strange, but you know, whatever. Maybe they just wanted more proof. Uh, I don't really, um, I'm unsure, but we did sell out. You know, everyone, no matter what phase you got in at, you got it at the price of like 1.87, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm unsure why this is $2 now, but um, we'll have to see. Again, you're going to have to come here and claim in a day and 12 hours which will be cool. And then from there, you know, you'll be able to potentially stake your, um, there's a few things you can do. You'll be able to stake your X torch into yield booster and add yield, add straight up LP APR to add, add extra APR percent to your yield pools. You can earn from dividends, which I heard was a very lucrative method in Camelot. Um, and you can also get perks and benefits from new launchpad projects on Hercules. So, um, yeah, not financial and, advice. I don't know what we're going to do. What were you going to say, Dax? Um, shit. Uh, oh, yeah. So one thing this showed me is like how freaking spoiled we are by the DFK team and their um, freaking quality assurance team. Yeah. Because it's like, I've already said this before. It's like how many glitches have we found with the Seer that we know about? Right, yeah, I mean, sh shit, I haven't seen very well, many, and, um... What glitches were there with the boar hunts? Barely what any, glitches dude, were you there know? with the Bad Mother Cluckers? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, we're sitting here not bitching, but talking about how duels aren't out yet. We know it's gonna be right when we get it. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, I won't, like, I won't be angry, I'll just be surprised. Yeah. I'll be like, how often does this team fuck stuff up when they release right. it, you know? Couldn't collect hunts. Yeah, so there were a few. Yeah, okay, there was that. I remember that vaguely. I mean, I didn't have any problems at all. Yeah, that wasn't um, every case, though. Meanwhile, you know, for example, this was almost 99% of users. Um, and I didn't have that experience where it costed me crystals. You're saying you spent the crystal and you didn't get the retry i don't remember that specifically i just remember it bugging out and sometimes you would have to no. be in that queue and you had to get it refreshed or wasn't there like a thing where just like you would finish a hunt and then it would just be gone like you oh that's the one he's probably referring <laughs> if they were to. like lost where you couldn't freaking... retry yeah you wouldn't be in able purgatory to retry. i know what you mean i know what you, you couldn't mean. retry you couldn't claim it you couldn't give up mm -hmm. and then you lose then you do waste the crystal i see what you're saying mm -hmm. so yeah that was an issue but that was fixed fairly promptly um and and again big shout out to hercules for getting you know on it could it have been better yes but you learn from it and you hope for the best and again who cares bro if you got in if you were able to get your whitelist um and you deserved a whitelist they most likely gave it to you and um as long as you had your your funds ready you got in and this is where the fun starts boys and girls you can't get into any of those alpha pools anymore if you leave that just leaves better aprs for us we're going to claim our torch, and everyone who didn't get in on that sale is going to want to buy right away. Um, I'm not selling right away, not financial advice. You do what you want. You could sell off right away, take your profits, whatever you want to do off this sale. But um, the fund's just getting started. We're going to be able to allocate it into dividends and um, 
Yeah, I don't right, know what's going to happen. I don't know where the price is going to go, but the fun's just getting started. So we'll, well see. Well, see, that was my problem is I joined the – I locked into the DFK, the DFK pool. The um, Jewel one? I have some locked there too. And how many of us are notorious for pulling out of Jewel? <laughs> <laughs> so I picked the wrong one. <laughs> Right on, right on. But um, I think that just about covers this. Let's see what the percent of the jewel pool is right That's now. That's what I was just trying to check, but you're there. Fifteen percent, so. but again, that doesn't reflect torch APO. Oh, it it actually does show. Oh no, but farm APR. Excuse me, farm APR doesn't show, but it does reflect nitro X torch APR at seven percent, nitro X Metis APR at six percent, roughly. So this is so going to increase. Wants to hear the Crypto Valley story. Um. Sorry, Sarge. The nine thirty to twelve o'clock slot is strictly DFK. Um, <laughs> maybe you can have him on your show sometime. <laughs> no, I, I owe him one. I owe him one. He's, he's present kidding. here. I'm just kidding. I missed him last week, bro. I I gotta give him. I mean, the the story with Crypto Valleys. I don't know what specifically you want to know, but um, I think I found it from Flu. I want to say he posted about it really, really early. And I just, you know, kept notifications on and kept farming, honestly. Farmed the hell of it. Testnet got some of the bros in, sticks in turn. Bunch of the jewelers. You know, Dags faded me. It's okay. Did I fade you on that? No, I, I don't think you completely faded, but... Um, I just told you I wasn't, it just wasn't up on your alley. I was... Uh, so I thought it was just going to be a farming game. And then once they released, like, there's actually going to be, like, heroes and stuff... And I got like super like Maple Story vibes from it. I was like, oh man, I screwed up. I even <laughs> I even messaged you. I was like, dude, I screwed up. I should have got into this. But now it's almost free. So I guess if I want to jump in, now would be the <laughs> yeah. time, right? It's been hovering between like a dollar. I don't think I have the I don't have the price. Chart oh, anymore. it's been hovering between a dollar and two dollars. So I mean, so that's not what he wants to hear. He wants to hear about you. Uh, oh my you, goodness! You fire and heat in the freaking Discord. Not you. So the Surely early not days. you getting in a fight in the Discord. Er, no, that's not me. I never do that, bro. <laughs> never. Um, no, so early days, Crypto Valleys, you know, when it was really popping, I very much was adamant about keeping it in their ears, the word DeFi Kingdoms. You know, I, every other sentence, if I could, I was trying to throw in the word DFK somehow, some way. You know, I was like that. I was just shilling the hell out of it, which I thought was fun. Um <laughs> And I think some of the dudes actually stuck around and tried out DFK, at least gave it a fair go, Yeah. Um, which is fun, which is cool. We're all just trying to win, you know, in any part of the ecosystem that we can, or at least have fun. So, um, and um, yeah, um, eventually one time, um, I think I posted, I, it was a Saturday I was going live and I was giving away some yield, which which was a good bit of money at the time i mean he was even down from the 15 bucks but um all in all i think it was like 70 bucks a yield or some shit and i posted it because i was like yeah come hang out but all in all i was playing dfk the whole stream so <laughs> so i think people got like offended or something and i'm pretty sure i got briefly kicked out of their creator's guild actually like someone kicked me out of the creator's guild one of the mods or something i lost my role and i was like what the hell you should have um, been playing yield farm during that time instead of playing dfk yeah, clearly. But I did play Yield at the end. I played I was some. Just saying, there was nothing to play. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. I get you. I get you. But I did. I, I played some Crypto Valleys at the end. They 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 fixed it, but it was funny. Um, and then it was just a running joke. I think I got you know a little hate from mods before that as well. Just a running joke to, you know, whenever I would um, mention DFK, I would kind of type it like this, just so they knew. They knew what I was talking about, of course. But, um, you know, I just wouldn't say, it, you know, it's like he who shall not be named, you know, but I, I always kept it in their ear. I haven't been in there as much. I haven't made content just because, you know, it's not mainly just about the price, but it's I don't you know, when, I, when there's a game like DFK and you already follow each and every update, um, it, it becomes stale, I guess might be the word. I think SI provided me with that vocabulary earlier, um, <laughs> but you know, eventually I'll make another update video with Crypto Valleys because there is some cool stuff coming, and I'm hoping to get my hands on the Gen Zero Mint. I'm still slightly allocated there, but I pulled a lot of liquidity um, over to DFK and, and other projects. A lot of my Metis stuff is funded solely on that. Um, you know, so we're just making moves, we're making plays, and 
and hoping to come out on top one way or another. But I thought that was hilarious. Um, it's all good fun. They're all good people over there, to be honest. And shoot, if you haven't got in and you thought you missed the boat and you just like the overall concept, like Dag said, the price is down quite a bit. So, you know, I do have a referral link if you wanted to try it, but you don't actually need that referral link. That's just, uh, it just helps out the creators. So, it's just the Ponzi, it's just the Ponzi part that we love because we're in crypto. <laughs> um, the wild thing is, is we had a few guys come in and uh, from Crypto Valleys and they wanted to try their hand at DFK. And I think almost all of them said it was too big and too difficult for them to grasp. Now, do you think that partially has to do with the fact that, okay, it's too deep and difficult. The game's fun, but it's it's difficult and deep. But there's not enough immediate, you know, reward. Let's say there was like, yeah. you know what I mean? Let's say yeah, there was no, a little I'm, more of an incentive right you. away. Would that? Yeah, if you could go straight into scrub fights, like buy three heroes and go straight into scrub fights, uh, I think more people would stick around. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we always talk about like the, the mobile I hate I hate talking about it again and again, but it's like if you could play this thing on a damn cell phone, no matter like like infallibly, is that the right word? If you can go into um Yeah, Skiller, like non gamers just don't get it. Um if you could just go into like any web browser and play DFK, I think we which is what the whole point of holiday is and Yeah. I don't even freaking use holiday, so <laughs> Well, but, we actually have a holiday um, guide coming soon. I, I started it, but then I heard the news of um, the damn update, and I don't even know what that is specifically, but I waited, and then I worried, or I wondered if it was even worth waiting for. I still might just make it, because there's holiday is capable of a lot, and, and it'll help some of these countries that can't get computers or whole, at, you know what I mean, whole desktops to play DFK. Yeah. Um, it's capable of running Hunts Mobile on, on Sideways, you know, on landscape mode mm -hmm. on your phone so it could well, be the know, game changer now that it's out there if you don't make it someone else will really soon yeah so i mean save me the hassle i don't care no I'll put it in jewelers university no yeah it'll be fun i do want to make that guide though still regardless of if anyone beats me to it um holiday is very cool and i think a short sweet guide to to get into and jump into dfk that way it'd be helpful to kind of guide some of these new folks but Dags, I think that's just about it. We gave away our hero. It's sent over to Choso. We talked about Hercules. We put him on Hercules. We put him on the hot seat. Seer is live. Talked a lot about that, and um, yeah, just overall a lot of good stuff. You got any final closing remarks? Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, my PJ wallet's coming along. You want to see it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'd love to see it. <laughs> All rares and above, right? Let's see. Hang on. Oh, I gotta switch off Metis. Where are you? There. I think it's wallets. Not five. Six. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. baby. I got, I'm over the 300 mark. Woo, this is all PJs? So if I switch this over to uncommon. they're No, they're not PJs. They're going to go on the PJs. Yeah, that's why I meant. Sorry. So <laughs> common. <laughs> uh, None of them. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if you you can't see because the filter. Oh no, you can't see. There it is. So common and uncommon, and then for rare, I have two hundred sixty eight of them. Wow. And then some legendary too. Not that many. No mythics. Uh no, no not mythics. Um, Damn. it's just, yeah. Good bit so, of legendaries though. Yeah, yeah, and then of of course from from yesterday I put the. How many archers did I say I bought? 50 of them? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> no, 40. I must have only bought 40. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. You crazy motherfucker. Uh, two feds. Got tell Dags. His honk holding increased by over 7% while he was sitting there just by holding some. And then those honkers in the void hunt raffles for a month as well. Sweet. Wow, sweet, I love sweet, it. Sweet, yeah, sweet. get farming those raffles and get farming that honk, baby. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do I have? Yeah, I didn't know that you could just go into the marketplace and like make it one of your coins. Yeah, dude. Our dex is pretty damn sweet. So, I it doesn't mine doesn't show up here, but like this where is it? There's like a management tab somewhere. Yeah, manage right here. 
Didn't even didn't even freaking know. Right. And yeah, that's where you things. add like the kind of backdoor. And I want to like the say things you want but... to see constantly. Yeah. Um. So like before this, you know, greater greater atomic crystals were always disappearing. I could add them there. Um. And then it gives you the ability to type it. There it is. One hundred seven point eight honk instead of a hundred. Nice. Yes. Dude. So you got an airdrop? Is that the airdrop? The honk airdrop going out? Shouldn't have to add the contract anymore. I'm not sure. Um. Uh, yeah, Hawk's in there. Yeah, it's well, it was. I mean, I don't know, but either way, that's fucking dope. I love it. Looking? And look at that. Looking? You hold even more and own even more Honk. Just with, just like that. Magic internet money, baby. Magic internet money. Um, Only in DFK. Yeah, I don't even know why I I bought it. Um. I I used to own the bloat coin too. Yes. The bloater coin. Um, but I don't remember why I got out of it. But, yeah, I can't remember why I bought Honk. But I was just like, hey, yeah, they got a coin. I wish we had a coin. Um, so I'm just going to buy their coin and support them. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it, dude. Airdrops. Um, cool. Shoot, Hunt airdrops, Hunt raffles now, dude. Honk's, Honk Guild, Honk is doing it right. Um and all the dudes, every time I work with the honk dudes and the and the girls over at honk, they're they're just, you know, class A, class acts, dude. Like mm-hmm. if I need logos, if I need art or whatever for the website we're building, you know, they're right on it. They're directing me who to DM. They're they're good people over there. Yeah. Bunch of good guilds in the ecosystem, man. So it's yeah. a lot of fun. Well, I wanted I wanted to make a, a, a token, uh, because I, that's how I wanted to run our guild bank. Right. And our, like, I wanted, if, uh, like, you could buy, if you could purchase stuff out of the guild wallet, I wanted to have that all done with, with a, with a token, but, uh, started reading it, realized I'm an idiot, and, like, we would have to have, like, full control over the coin and then dis- and then issue them, and I don't, that wouldn't, I mean, you might as well yeah. just keep a tally in a workbook at that point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it depends so. how you go about it. Um, something potentially we could do down the line and consult, you know, the honk boys and girls and see what they think the best method potentially would be or uh, or even consult someone else in the community. So uh-huh. something, something we could think about. Must, must not hold as much as dags. Oh, wow. Am I a honk <laughs> whale? <laughs> It like, sounds like they're going from the top down. They're going from the most important honk holders down to the bottom feeders like me. And, I got in pretty I early, I think. No. <laughs> I didn't. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how much I hold, but I don't hold like a ton. But I, I'm. I have some honk. I'm pretty sure. Huh. <laughs> All right. I think that's just about it. Oh boys wait, I have a honk confession. You have a honk confession. Mm-hmm. I used to hate the goose memes. When I first joined oh, DFK, he admits it. What? Come after him. But totally, they don't bother me at all anymore. I like them. Now I like them. <laughs> I love just going into a random ass chat and somebody just goes honk, and I'm like, all oh, my people are here. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, funny, dude. That is I used funny. to get annoyed with the Kirby feet memes too. Those, uh, like, I wish, um, who is it? Pangu? How do you say his name? Ping? Panga? Ping? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, when he starts posting that shit, I just wish my wife was next to me and I would just show her, like, look at these hairy, giant Kirby feet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and those who know, know, dude. And, and kind of what you're talking about when you see the honk cop in there, like in the Hercules chat, when you saw some of the gang in there, yeah, you knew who was in there and we were all just kind of like, um, you know, bullshitting, pissed or not, you know, it was fun. Yeah. On that yeah, it sticks in terms. There's definitely something in there, um, that like, it's not. It doesn't trigger fight or flight. It just triggers fight. Um, it like it like triggers those those stupid Kirby memes like trigger a killer instinct, and that's how <laughs> it used to be with me. But now I just I just laugh. Um. So, uh, I mean, Skiller's saying everyone should go to the jeweler's Discord and spam goose memes. Why don't you go to our comment section and spam them there? Uh, or <laughs> go engagement farm on X and see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> all right, man. Well, that's all I got. 
That's all I got, too. Great stream. We almost went for two hours here, so almost four hours of Jewelers content here today, and, and Trey didn't even get to go live, so he'll be back um, May. He's actually out the rest of April. Yeah, um, he's got, like, birthdays, anniversaries. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's, a he's doing dude. what he's supposed to do on a Saturday night. He's hanging out with us. Not being life. like us d so. <laughs> My wife's at a bar right now with her with her volleyball team watching fights, so. <laughs> People with no, life are doing, are doing much more than us. Rampin, I don't know if I, like, despised anyone in particular. It was, like, when did DFK launch? Was that, like, September of 2021? I have no idea. Is that right? So I think I was over it by like January of 22. So um, I didn't even have time to remember people's names who were doing it. But I remember like going into into the Jewelers Guild and being like, is there anyone who's going to post those damn, those damn goose memes here? Like, <laughs> but, I love it. No, it's Yes, a, SI is going live tonight actually. So he? 12 o'clock. should be his guest. 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, he says. 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You should go on. Oh, me? Jesus. <laughs> Do you see me, bro? I, I feel like death. You I feel great. like I'm going to fall asleep. I feel like I fell asleep during this whole show. What time I is haven't... I, I, like... I'm like doing the schedule right now that like my friends do. Like they're they're they stay up till like three AM and then they wake up at six. Yeah, it's bad. Um, except I don't have the Adderall to take that they take to keep going. Yeah, I'm missing that. I got the wrong Dude, um, they hit the amphetamine so hard and I got the wrong like... medicine type, I'm not gonna lie. Um and <laughs> it doesn't help that situation. I kinda have that same sleep schedule. The medicine I prefer to use does not help that, Mr. Daggs, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. I, they I just go that. like, How do you think I wake up at four AM and go running and then do a full day of work and then go running again <laughs> and then party until three AM and then do it again? I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I've never done Adderall, but I would. Um, one of my friends is like, "Yeah, it's awesome because like you're working and then you don't stop." But then it's like if you have to get up to go to the bathroom, and you see like there's like a speck on the sink, then you start cleaning that shit, and you can't go back to your desk until the whole damn bathroom is clean. And I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> one thing I'll say is Adderall is not. Um, I don't know. Adderall's an. Let's not get on that topic. How about that? Let's let's leave that for another. Let's leave that Spiller for another. says Lafoca. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There we I've go. I've never done that either. I don't like putting things in my nose. Oh my goodness. So COVID test probably sucked for you, sir. Um. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Um, but they didn't really test for COVID. All they did was shove a microchip up into my. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, for me, I mean, I kind of agree. Coca-Cola is by far one of the best drinks for me. You know, it gets me through these late night streams. So I'm with Skiller on that one. <laughs> oh. All jokes aside. I thought he meant. Oh, obviously that's what he meant, brother. Oh, okay. Obviously that's what he meant. I'm just playing. But um, no, be safe. We don't condone any drug use or anything like that here. Um. You can do what you want Just on your own time. Shots. We're not going to tell you what to do, but um, we're not going to do any of that good stuff on stream, unfortunately. You'll have to, you'll have to pay for Dags' is only fans for that if you want that. I was uh, going to start one of those over COVID where I taught Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2, and I was just going to stay fully clothed. As stupid as that is, why I do I feel like that would win? That's all I was going to do. I was like, all these parents are stuck with their kids who don't know math. I was like, I'm just going to open an OnlyFans. Only Dags. And just stay fully clothed. Call it and it'll start day. like you think it's one of those like classroom detention scenes, but then the <laughs> teaching part never stops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Uh, I could see it being a big win. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more jewelers content. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um I love it. I love that um yeah, Jewelers Sports Big twenty twenty five as well in collaboration with Skiller, you know, when he fully and there's a little bit of alpha, I guess, for you people that stayed this long to the stream. Uh, Skiller mentions Jewelers 2025. We got a lot, you know, implementation of Skiller for one of the, one of the things. Um, fully, Skiller fully divulging into the Jewelers Guild and, and kind of parting ways with Mythic Squad. Yada, yada, yada. Another story for another day. That'll come 2025. I thank you, Skiller, for mentioning that. It almost slipped my mind for a second. So a bunch of stuff in the works, Dags. And it's, um, it's an election year, so we might get beef, too. 
Yeah, we might get beef. SI is kind of on the fringe there, you know. Mythic Squad. Um, they need their legal counsel. Uh, we might access those ser services from SI, but um, as of now, he's kind of on the fringe. He's, he's Mythic Squad through and through, but that's not to say we wouldn't love him with the jewelers, you if know. Crypto Valleys would have taken off. Uh, we would have had him. But. Yeah, if it would have hit fifty, I, th I think I would have. I think I would have finagled him this way. Uh, if Yield would have hit fifty bucks, I think we were golden. Unfortunately, um, people sold off, and you know, sad, sad days. We'll have to find another way to get SI over to the jewelers. <laughs> no, but if S SI, bro, if I'm up for it, if I stay up a little longer, you know, maybe I hop in. If you want a guest, um, maybe audio only. I don't know. We could we could shoot the shit. But I'd love to watch you play hunts tonight. Either way, that'll be fun. But Dags, Learn we're gonna end up, you know, we're gonna end up going till twelve if we don't shut the fuck up. So, oh, you want to say your goodbyes? I don't know. I kind of feel like I should keep like the two thirty a.m. streak going. So, oh, uh, no, I'll see you guys <laughs> later. I'm not gonna try and list everybody in chat because what I learned from teaching is when you try to do that, um, you just miss you miss people. So, uh, thanks for stopping by for sure. on our. Saturday night live stream, and uh, yeah, Mega, take it, take it away. Take it away. Much, much love, much love. Just as Dag said, we'll be here next week, hopefully with duels, hopefully with a new website, um, and we'll be jumping on to Jewelers Joust, Pink Slip Duels, and the likes. ASAP Rocky. It's gonna be a lot of fun. PVP around the corner, as we always say, and. Uh, much love to each and every one of you. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang Tune on, don't in. end it yet. Wait. Never wait, mind. Wait, wait. We will have on. to do that whole spiel again. So no, we won't. Tuned. Well, so Cassius said giveaway, <laughs> and he missed it, so I got to check my countdowns. Oh, oh nope. Oh. <laughs> Are you saying next week? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we'll Cassius, see. Cassius, we did the – we did – there was a wheel. Um, we had but, one, unfortunately. So – all right. Tune in Take it away, week. Mega. <laughs> Tune in next week. Much love. Much love, Cassius, for showing up, though. Um, catch the replay, and we'll, we'll have more giveaways here soon. Um, I do apologize, but, uh, yeah, much love for showing up and showing out to all you guys. Um, I'm Mega for Dags. This has been the Jewelers Live Podcast. We'll see you. Bye, Kangaroo.